this video are available on the opendatahub.io website in the Getting Started section. Specifically, we will be going over the quick installation steps and a few of the steps in the basic tutorial that will demonstrate how to access the Jupyter Hub application. So let's begin. Here I have an OpenShift 4.1 cluster that was deployed using code ready containers. I've configured this cluster to have six CPUs and 12 gigabytes of memory, which is enough to deploy a few of the components provided by Open Data Hub. Feel free to increase these resources as your hardware allows. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is create an OpenShift project for the Open Data Hub deployment. We can do that by clicking on Create Project, and we'll give it a name of ODH. In order to deploy an instance of Open Data Hub, we first need to deploy the Open Data Hub operator using the OpenShift Operator Hub. To access the OpenShift Operator Hub, navigate to Catalog and Operator Hub. Here you will see all of the community operators that are available for installation in the cluster. You can find Open Data Hub in the list by typing the keyword Open Data Hub and selecting it from the filtered list. Click Continue on the dialog. Before you install the operator, feel free to review the description of the currently available version for this release of the Open Data Hub. For this video, we will be deploying JupyterHub and the RAD Analytics Spark Operator. To begin the operator installation, click Install. On the operator subscription page, make sure the project that we created earlier is selected, and then accept the defaults for everything else. On the subscription overview page, wait for the status to show one installed. Now that the operator is installing, we can view the status by going to installed operators and seeing open data hub operator. Now that the status says install succeeded, we can begin to customize our deployment of Open Data Hub. Click on Open Data Hub Operator, and then click Create New. On this page, you're presented with a template of the Open Data Hub custom resource. In this template, we can customize which components will be deployed, and also how we want to configure those deployed components. For this, we want to make sure that Jupyter Hub is deployed and the Spark Operator. You can control their installation by changing the ODH deploy property to true. This will make sure that these are deployed in the Open Data Hub. We default to deploying Prometheus and Grafana by enabling monitoring, but for this video, we want to disable that. So we'll change its deployment property to false. Since we're running in a cluster with limited resources, we need to modify some of the properties for the Jupyter Hub deployment. Specifically, we want to change the CPU allocated to the Spark cluster nodes to 1. We want to reduce the Spark memory to 1 gig. And we'll go ahead and disable the Spark node worker node. All the other options will allow us to safely deploy Jupyter Hub in this deployment. If you want to customize any property further, feel free. Now, to deploy Open Data Hub, go ahead and click Create. On this page, you'll see the Open Data Hub deployment custom resource that we just created. If you want to monitor the status of this Open Data Hub deployment, click on Workloads and then Pods. Here you can see all the pods that are deploying 
as part of our Open Data Hub custom resource creation. Specifically, we're deploying Jupyter Hub, a database for Jupyter Hub, and the Spark operator. Once each pod reports the status of running, we can proceed with accessing Jupyter Hub. So, to access the Jupyter Hub application, we're going to navigate to the Jupyter Hub route that was created with this deployment. So we can click on networking and routes to view all of the routes that are available as part of this deployment. So to access the application, we just click on the location field for Jupyter Hub. We can proceed by clicking sign in with OpenShift. And we'll go ahead and log in as the regular developer user that's available on this cluster. For the Open Data Hub deployment of Jupyter Hub, we've added a few customizations to allow an individual user to customize the notebook deployment for their workflow. Specifically, they can select from a list of available notebooks, change the notebook pod size to fit their workflow, and if their GPU is available in the cluster, they can access those directly. Also, if they want to add any specific environment variables to be available in that pod, they can do so now. Here, we'll go ahead and add a Hello World environment variable that will be available in our Jupyter Notebook. So, we'll go ahead and spawn the Notebook pod. Here you'll see our notebook pod is spawned and we can create a blank Jupyter notebook. So to create a blank Jupyter notebook, we can click on new and then select the Python 3 notebook. In this empty Jupyter notebook, we have an empty cell where we can start to insert our Python code. So just to show you how to run this, we'll just create a very simple hello world script and execute it. This is just a simple script to show how you can access the environment variable in the Jupyter Notebook pod and print it out. We can execute the cell by entering the information and just hitting run. From here, you can start the basic tutorial that is available on the opendatahub.io website. The basic tutorial will demonstrate how to interact with a Spark cluster and read and write data to object storage from a Jupyter notebook. For more information on the Open Data Hub and its components, please visit our website at opendatahub.io and subscribe to this channel to be notified when new Open Data Hub videos are available.